Aloha mai kako, my name is Ralph and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite island and Hawaiian style recipes. And today we'll be making jello cream cheese bar. This is my mom's recipe, so thanks mom for letting me share this. This is a triple layer dessert. The bottom layer is a crumbly shortbread crust with chopped walnut sprinkled through for an added crunch. The middle is a cream cheese layer with a hint of orange and the top a classic strawberry jello. Leave a comment in the comment box below, what's your favorite flavor of Jell-O? For me, I'd say strawberry. Before we get started, I'd love it if you'd hit that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated every time I post a new video. And I post new videos every week. And don't forget, all the recipe instructions and ingredients are always listed in the description box below. So hele mai, come along and let's make some Jell-O cream cheese bars. First, you're gonna preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. To a medium sized bowl, you're going to add butter, flour, and walnuts. Then you're going to chop it up with a, you can either use a dough cutter like I did here, a fork or whatever you choose until it's all well combined. Then you're going to pour this into a prepared 9 by 13 pan. You can use parchment paper, butter, nonstick spray, whatever your choice. Then you're going to spread out the shortbread crust and flatten it with your hand. Gonna go ahead and bake this for 15 minutes until it just starts to brown then you're gonna set it aside and let it cool completely then to a small bowl add orange flavored jello and hot water mix until the jello dissolves and then go ahead and set this aside Next, to a large mixing bowl, you're gonna add cream cheese, granulated sugar, and a tub of Cool Whip. Then you're gonna take a hand mixer and you're gonna plug it in first because that's how it works. <laughs> and go ahead and mix this. You can definitely mix it by hand, it just takes a little bit more elbow grease. You're gonna to wanna to mix it till the mixture is almost smooth. Once you get to that point, then you're gonna go ahead and add the cooled jello. Make sure it's cool, because if it's hot, it'll melt your cream cheese mixture. And slowly start to mix this. This can get a little bit messy, so be careful. Then you're gonna just mix this until everything is well combined and smoothed out. You're gonna take your completely cooled crust and I have to reiterate completely cooled and then you're gonna pour that middle cream cheese mixture in and spread it out evenly throughout the pan. Once smoothed out go ahead and place it in the fridge for at least two hours or until firm. Once that has firmed up then you're gonna make that top layer of jello. Add the strawberry jello to hot water and a packet of gelatin. Make sure you mix it up real quick so that the gelatin can dissolve completely. And you're gonna let this cool just until the jello is right about to set. Once you hit that consistency, then you're gonna go ahead and pour it over the completely cooled cream cheese layer. If you pour it on too early, then the cream cheese will float up to the top and your jello will end up being in the middle layer. Still tastes good, but not as pretty. You'll wanna cover it with a piece of foil or something like that. And you're gonna leave this in the fridge until the jello sets and is completely firm. About two hours or even overnight if you'd like. Um, I accidentally knocked it and that's why I had to reshoot another one and that's why this pan in particular does not have the parchment paper. But you can go ahead and slice it and then serve. Enjoy! And that's how you make jello cream cheese bars. If you make this recipe or any of my other recipes, please tag me, let me know. I love seeing all your creations. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and ahui ho. Thank you for watching my mom's video.